Well, I'm Robert Yancey. I am with Autodesk and I'm the Director of Manufacturing and Production Business Development and Strategy. We're showing our range of solutions for additive manufacturing, which really centers around our NetFab brand. Uh, so we have an end-to-end -end workflow for additive, it includes design, build preparation, um, and, um, and then on the metal side, we also have the simulation tool that can predict residual stress and distortion for the printed parts. Yeah, so this is actually a good one. Basically, he's using uh, the technology to design these for a skateboard. And you can see it's metal. It's got lattice structure on the inside. Uh, structurally optimized, lightweight, gives him the type of performance uh, that he wants. I think it's really a great application of the technology. These are highlighting benefits of additive manufacturing uh, that you really can't get with any other manufacturing method and completely using our design software and our lattice generation software and uh, build preparation software. So I oversee all of the manufacturing portfolio for Autodesk. So currently within our um, uh, set of uh, software assets is uh, software for additive, subtractive. We acquired Delcam from the UK a, a few years ago. And so their power mill, power shape products come with that. We also have composite manufacturing. And then uh, uh, we have mold filling and uh, mold filling simulation tools through the mold flow brand. So generative design is a key part of our strategy moving forward. But where we are moving generative design is a tool to allow you to make good engineering and business decisions. Because there's a number of trade-offs that people have to look at in making a proper decision. And so we want to provide the tools to be able to efficiently make those decisions and understand the impacts of the different trade-offs that they may be evaluating. We actually look at this quite differently than I would say everybody else that's looking at like topology optimization. This is not a here's my set of inputs, push a button, give me the answer. This is here are my uh, variables and my constraints. Now give me a lots of options to look at and give me tools to navigate those options. So what we're trying to do is to be able to utilize the creativity of humans um, and give them um, more uh, options to consider where we use the computer to cycle through a bunch of different options and present those. So we're really trying to take advantage of the computer, what it does best, take advantage of the human and what they do best. So our goal is not to eliminate the computer. We want to, the engineer, we want to empower the engineer and have access to a lot more data to make good decisions. Well, major trend is, is Industry 4.0, digitalization, additive is a key part of that, but this expands to all manufacturing uh, technologies. It's, it's the idea that data needs to flow between the different applications. Some people call it the digital thread, um, but then we need to be able to leverage the information that we have to make good decisions, both engineering and business decisions. So one of the trends I see here is that people are talking more about using additive for production and we clearly want to be part of enabling that to occur because there's a lot of other things that has to happen when you talk about production versus just prototyping.